How to install Firefox GX extension to your computer. First of all, you have to go to the Firefox GX website, which I assume you found already. Then you scroll down and there's this chapter which says how to install. We are going to follow these simple instructions to download Firefox GX to our computer. We are going to scroll up, go to the green button that says code, click the arrow on the right. When this window opens, we are going to click download zip. You can see now it's downloaded the zip file. We click this to open it in a folder. And there it is, our zip file. I'm going to move it to this folder so I can remember what it is. And then I'm going to unpack it right here. Now I can delete the zip as we have the unpacked version right here. And we click on it. Here you've got some files. You, you should see all of these files on your computer right now, if you have been following along. That is step one complete. Unzip the file, we did that too, and copy the Chrome folder and the user JS file into your Firefox profile directory. You can see the Chrome folder and the user JS folder right here. But what is Firefox profile directory? And remember, this is what Firefox looks like right now. We're gonna use this for comparison later to compare it to what it looks like with Firefox GX. But this isn't what we're here for. We're actually here because Google is your friend. We're going to Google Firefox Profile Directory. And what does Google say? Google is giving you the exact location of this folder where you're going to have to copy your files. So we are going to take this text, App Data Mozilla Firefox, and copy that. This is the location of the file you're looking for. You are going to open up File Manager once again. And then you go up here. You click once and then you enter the location that you just copied from Google. And click Enter. And here we are. We have found the exact file that we were looking for. We go back to Firefox and remind ourselves what we are doing. Firefox Profile Directory. We are going back to our Firefox file, which we just found, and click Profile. When you click Profiles, you should find two files. You click the one which says Release at the end. And this is the correct file. Now we're going to copy Chrome and paste it here. After that, we're going to copy User.js and also paste it here. So now we have User.js and we also have Chrome here. That's our step two completed. Step 3. Install and use a compatible theme. This says you can use GX theme styles extension. So I'm just going to go ahead and download that. Click add. And that's here now. Then I'm going to, I think, download the swamp extension. Also click add. And that's fine. You can see it working already. There's some nice borders around here. And then you can restart your browser and your Firefox is going to look like Firefox GX or Opera GX. There is the nice waves and the red, which you can also change it by clicking this little icon in the upper right corner. Now you can stop here if that's all you are looking for from this extension. But if you scroll even further down below the themes, you can see there's extras. Now these extras can be a bit more difficult to set up and explain, but they are what I used to get my Firefox to look like this. They're just simple tips and tricks to get your Firefox to look closer to Opera GX. For example, I have added a sidebar here, and I have also merged the search line and the tab line. As I said, they are a bit more difficult to set up, but I would be more than happy to make a tutorial about every single one of these if you need them. All of these have their own pages and their own instructions to download them and set them up. So 
feel free to request any of these and I'm going to try to research more about them and compile them into a simple video like this one. I hope this was useful to you and I hope you enjoy Firefox GX.